What's up, Flight Sim Crew? This is your pilot in command, Ryan. And I'm just here for a brief, uh, brief little rundown on Microsoft's latest um, update. So I launched uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and was surprised to see that it was a pretty big uh, update involved. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what uh, details I can get on it. And we'll take a quick look. So yeah, first of all, we we were graded with was uh, this become a Top Gun in free expansion available today. So clearly, this is meant to promote the new Top Gun uh, Maverick movie, and you know, it is what it is. Hollywood meets uh, big corporations. What, what do you expect? But we'll go into it with an open mind. We'll see what new things they may have and uh hopefully i'll give you guys a pretty good review this is a complete hot take i have not seen this before uh i haven't watched the movie um even though it's i might watch it uh this summer but um yeah let's just dive right in and see what microsoft has to offer so through the magic of video editing i will increase this load time for you all um but it's worth noting while we have a brief wait that the movie uh, did launch um, May, uh, just, just a couple days ago. I think it was May 17th of um, 2022. So if this is your forte in action movies, you know, by all means, check it out. This is no endorsement. Neither Microsoft nor Top Gun uh, <laughs> pays me or cares what I have to say. So um, take, take it as... As you will, uh, I personally have fond memories of the original Top Gun, so I think I'm going to go check this one out. So, quick, quick rundown as we get started. Um, as you all may have noticed, a few of my videos are different topics. I'm going to denote the topic based off of the color border that I put around the thumbnail. So, if it's a green on um, border that means it's going to be flight sim aviation related if it is a yellow uh, border it means it's going to be geopolitics just you know whatever's going on in the world and if it is a red border that is going to be uh, regulations so when i get to the grueling um task of reading all of the FAA regulations i'll probably make videos for each of them and those will be given a red um, border but here we are we're in the game so um, as you can see the landing challenge here it looks like Maverick activities with an assortment of well um, FA-18 okay that's interesting I'm curious right off the bat um, let's see what they give us the release notes all right so it looks like they fished, they fixed uh, quite a few um, erroneous crashes. And they fixed air traffic control Azure TTS in gameplay. Uh, that is a feature that I feel like has a lot of potential. Uh, I have not been able to use it yet, but um, I will let you all know what I do because I believe what you can, I believe what, what occurs is air traffic control reads you out, you know, a standard radio call, and then you respond correctly back to it. And um, Azure, interprets what you're saying to make sure that you got your radio calls correct and if for some reason you got them incorrect it would probably chastise you for it <laughs> but to be quite honest it's a great way to learn how to how to get good on the radios looks like some stuff for uh, xbox props to anyone watching this that plays on xbox i uh have a lot of respect for you because I could not fly an airplane on two control sticks. Also, VR. So, I can't show you guys VR, but when it, when they do it right, it looks amazing. I, I mean, it's just... It, it'll take your breath away, I'll put it that way. Um, there's a couple of oddities when it comes to clipping. For example, if you're flying a small cabin aircraft, you can stick your head out the window and uh, you know, look down. 
which obviously you couldn't do in real life, but um, I consider that to be minor. Uh, I actually find that the immersion in virtual reality is really second to none. Um, the standard way of flying has some advantages in, in the some of the click through menus, um, talking to air traffic control is easier, but when it comes to actually getting yourself oriented with the aircraft and knowing where all the knobs and switches are, the VR is second to none. So I hope they continue to make improvements uh, going forward. Fix the autopilot behavior. Well, hmm, that's probably important. Fixed fuel system issues, yeah. Mm -hmm. Every pilot will tell you that you don't trust the fuel gauges. And if you're wondering what, what we do is you have someone visually can visually inspect the gas tank to make sure that the amount of fuel is in there and uh, you math out how much fuel you're going to burn through your flight so that the fuel gauge is kind of a secondary um, instrument as opposed to your primary way of knowing how much fuel you have. Looks like they made some changes with elevator trim. That was much needed. All right, so I'm going to uh, allow you guys to kind of look through this. looks like we've got stability, navigation, traffic, weather, um, you know, just a lot of stuff I'm sure that's going to have to deal with the airplanes. And this is way more than I bet you folks want to sit back and read. So feel free to head over to Microsoft's um, support page and take a look at it for yourself. Now we're going to head into the hangar and let's see if we got any new aircraft. Um, if you were the, uh, the MiG-29 there, that is what I was flying in the last flight from Odessa. And let's see what aircrafts we got. So, start the top. Alright, so I'm going to move quickly through these. I, I will tell you, I plan on doing a deep dive on every single aircraft in this game. Um, not only just kind of a just factual overview of the aircraft, but also um, I would like to do a critique of how the aircraft is in game compared to real life, especially some community um, created aircraft that um, I have downloaded. Like for example, the MiG Fulcrum will be one of the first ones I do. They aesthetically they have some benefits, but uh, they do have a couple things that uh, I'll, I'll bring up later. Oh, and by the way, last uh, news article I read this um, this chopper is somewhat delayed. The FAA is. Uh, postponing their um, airworthiness certificate. So uh, it'll be a little while till we see helicopter taxis. Aside from that, I don't see any new aircraft unless my eyes just jumped over them. I'm gonna go back to a little bit quicker, a little bit slower, excuse me. And maybe, no. I do have a lot of community aircraft, so. There it was. No telling. All right, so, hmm, what should we fly with the new update? I think you guys would be a bit disappointed if I went with the standard Cessna Skyhawk, which is what I will be my go-to. So how about, I, I'm gonna keep in the Microsoft family, so let's go with the Boeing uh, F-18. And we'll see if I can do a little better job landing. I'm just taking a moment here to see its max speed, cruise speed, engine, wingspan, and hopefully my co-pilot will tell me the stall speed. That would be important. Oh, yeah, we're going to go with that one. All right, so I'm going to try and move along a little quickly for you all. And let's just hop right into the world. World map. Let me know if you all are interested in seeing some of these Maverick activities. Uh, I'd be willing to do a couple videos um, on them. I think they could be quite fun um yeah so if you if that's something that you'd like to see drop me a comment all 
But for now, we are heading to Taiwan. So this should be a pretty short flight. Weather conditions are looking good. We're going to include some um, AI traffic and let's get my weight and balance right. The ETA is about a 14 minute flight and let's see if I remember how to fly one of these things. So give me a moment here as I get uh, my flight can my ooh, my controls are properly adjusted. Alright, got my rudder pedals, yoke is good. Uh, both, let's see, strobe lights on, nav off. Beacon light off. Actually, you know what? Strobe's gonna be off. Um, oh, engines are at idle. Landing gear is down. Trim is set appropriately. And Tango Foxtrot, ready for departure to the west at runway 28. Sorry about that. All right, so we're going to be taking off runway 28, uh, and it would be nice if they told told us what uh, altitude they'd like to climb to, but let's, uh, let's just run through a couple things here. All right, so uh, as you can see, our stall speed is going to be um, right in that range. Uh, landing speed is going to be a little above that. That makes me happy. And takeoff speed. It's going to be 160 knots. So at 160 knots, we will be up and airborne. We like to keep things pretty, pretty much uh, as they need to be. So. And we're going to quickly do our flight controls. Free and correct. Yes, they are. Wings spread and locked. So I do believe that's those little tip wing templates there. We just want to make sure that those are down. So my flaps, flaps should already be in position, and uh, hopefully I, yeah, don't have a tow hook on. All right, so. Well, that looks good, so I know Air traffic control is going to bother me right out of the gate. Now I just have to find the parking brake. I feel like I feel like I'm seeing a little low in this aircraft, but uh, yeah, 
Can I get a little boost on my seat, or is this going to be VFR? Well, sorry if I'm making you all a little motion sick there, but hey, you know what? Let's see what happens. Unfortunately, I really can't see where my runway is at all, so I just have to kind of guess. And I don't have a heads-up display, so I'm not really sure when I'm going to be at the rotation speed. I'm feeling like it's about now. Gear up, and we are climbing. Uh, come back, come back on those uh, afterburners a bit. VFR maps definitely come in handy. And I will say this aircraft is uh, quite nimble. Sorry that I keep uh, bumping the microphone here. I'm just trying to get a visual on my gauges. Alright, so let's throttle up a little bit and just cruise on. So I, I will say, um, as we're cruising, and hopefully not doing anything dumb, I do really like the design of this model. Uh, the attention to detail is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, uh, I have to say I like that. Uh, one thing I have not seen in previous fighters is the option to um, dump excess fuel, and I think that's pretty important, you know, if you're coming in for a landing and you're in an area where maybe it's a bit dicey, it's an emergency landing, maybe you have you know, potential for third party, uh, you know, ca casualties, having a fuel dump option, I, I think is very important.
Well, folks, this is your pilot in command, uh, Ryan speaking, and we have reached our cruising altitude of I don't, 11. Let's just let's call it 11. And we're going to briefly check and see what uh, air traffic control has to say. So, I do have to say that uh, this aircraft is, alright, I just decided that it wasn't going to like me. So just then, I, apparently I hit the stall speed, so I'm giving it nose down to build up airspeed, and now I should be able to climb back to altitude with not much problem. So what occurred there, I, I was uh, attempting to adjust my trim uh, in order to have straight and level flight. Uh, I will say this aircraft is highly sensitive, so when I bring back my throttle to... Um, just, just what you see there. You can see that uh, vertical speed is slowly coming down, slowly. All, all right, so here we have a little bit of a predicament in that we should not be going over 250 knots in controlled airspace, but yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to accomplish that, so we're going to have to get a little creative. I would like to uh, try this uh, bit of a hairpin turn coming up here.
So I, I used a, a little too much off the throttle on that one. But I'm going to use this opportunity to get my flaps out. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't see the runway here. I don't see the runway at all. So, um... All right, so we are executing a touch and go. Now that I know where the airport is. And now we're going to make a second attempt. Oh, we might as well take our... Uh, Yeah, that uh, landing gear isn't going down until the runway is assured. We are coming in hot on this one. Well, uh, that will be the first crash I have experienced. And I don't mind airing that to you guys because... I don't know if you can tell, but uh, unless that thing had some air brakes that uh, I wasn't briefed about, uh, that was one fast aircraft. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it as it is, and um, yeah. In summary, though, I will say I do have some drawbacks of the aircraft, so. This is my bias. I'm a visual um, pilot. Obviously, I've never flown any type of military aircraft. 
Uh, I could figure out a couple of the gauges there that would give me altitude, speed, things along those lines, but most of those gauges, the, the glass gauges, really weren't helpful. Uh, GPS did not tell me, you know, where the runway was, at least not that I could figure out when I'm when I was going 300 knots. And uh, yeah, so that, that was interesting. So um, I have never flown that aircraft. It's brand new here in um, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Top Gun Maverick. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below uh, about everything, including my landing. And if you can land this better than me, by all means, please do so. And, uh, you know, link me the video or something. I would love to see how, you know, a skilled pilot could get this blazing fast uh, brick on on jet engines down on the ground safely um, because uh, that was a little more challenging than I was experiencing. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to do some more of these where I'm going to be doing model reviews of other um, aircraft that just come with the game and ones that I've purchased. So, um, yeah, if you enjoy this content, um, subscribe. If you liked this video, even with my abysmal failure, uh, give me a like. It will remind me that uh, it's just a game and it's not a big deal. Um, so, it is a big deal, don't get me wrong. But it's just a game and games are made to learn from. So, I've learned that I can't fi fly uh, Top Gun Maverick. You know, hey, I could have told you that at the beginning, but you know. Anyhow, folks, thanks again. We hope to see you in the next video, and you take care.